G'day, this is Captain Australia and I'm here at Manning Point with my mate Jock, who I met on the big walk. And first, I want to shake this man's hand. This is a lovely man. Yeah, left-handed handshake. That's how skates shout. <laughs> skates? Scouts shake hands, yeah. Jock, pleasure to see you again, mate. Nice now, to see you again. Now, today, we are going to meet my mate Archer. And we've got bags of goodies for him and some money for his family. But I'll let Jock tell you about that stuff. Yeah, so it looks like the bowling club's been here in Manning Point for over 50 years now. Um, it's the... It, it's the hub of Manning Point um, during the good times and the. Oh shit, John. Yeah. I know there's been struggle in this community and you've been there through thick and thin, haven't you? Are you, are you comfortable telling us a bit about it? Because I think the world needs to see stories like yours, buddy. You are an inspiration to me. Do you want to take a break? Yeah, mate, is that right? Yeah, okay, so we're on the road again. Um, we just had a stop and a little chat, and we're on the road to Archer's house, and we're just going to continue on. Oh, wobble, wobble. So this is Captain Australia, and I am talking to my lovely mate, Jock. Yeah, so, sorry, sorry about that, Simon. It's, um, it is a wonderful community. The club is the, the heartbeat of the town. Um, we do a lot of stuff there, a lot of fundraising for people. Uh, like I said, um, before we'd done the little fundraiser for Archer, we had a couple of weekends uh, for the Westpac Rescue Helicopter. So we raised around fourteen thousand dollars there. Awesome. Um, it's 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 the hub of the during the floods in two thousand and twenty. Um, the the club was the evacuation centre, so we housed and, and fed and looked after the people while they were out of their homes. Uh, unfortunately, there was very few buildings in the village that weren't damaged by flood. So um, the club acted as as a, a place to congregate, a place for people to. Uh, come along and have breakfast together and they could come back during the day and sit in the club and read a book and do whatever they liked. Uh, when we had some vehicular access back to town, for the first few days we were helicopter access only. Uh, once people, we could get vehicles back into town and we organised some clothing and bedding and, and medication and stuff for people. Uh, that's where it all happened. It all happened at the club. People would come and get their shopping bag and go through the, the room where we had set up with fresh fruit and vegetables and, and so clothing. So this is the, and the Manning Point Bowls Manning Club. Manning Point it? Bowling Club. Yeah, Simon, it's a, I've been I've been tied up with the bowling club now for about eight or nine years. Yeah. Um, I've worked there on and off casual as a barman. I was there as a secretary manager for a little while. But um, I just, uh, <laughs> you've probably gathered in our conversations over the last few days, I'm quite a a person who never does the one thing for too long. Yeah. Um, I get out and get about a lot, but I do, um, and it, it, it's obviously tough on my family. Um, I spend a lot of time uh, out and about fundraising and, and chasing things up and trying to help people out. And I'm really looking forward to today to get in here and see Archer. Yeah, you're um, not the only one, brother. Yeah, I, you know, it's just, it's from from my perspective, being a, a grandfather and having three beautiful, healthy grandchildren, to to see what Arch has gone through. Like this is the first time this little fella's been home for Christmas in like four years, I think. Um, you can't imagine that as a as a parent. And what well, Archer himself, I know, is bad enough. And how would, how does a mother deal with uh, looking after the rest of the family, but having a little boy who spent nearly three and a half years in hospital? Yeah, the, um, the weight of that, I can't even. Imagine, yeah, think, yeah, yeah. So hopefully we've got some stuff on board that will put a smile on their face. And um, like I said, we'd like to do something to spoil mum and the rest of the family as well. So that's where we're on our way to Simon. We're not far away. We're uh, only 15 or 20 minutes away and we'll be at uh, at Archer's house. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the look on his face when Captain yeah, Australia walks too, through the door. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, All righty. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the bop bop a jiggly bop bop a jiggly surprise visit to Archer. Boom, boom. Hey. G'day, this is Simon. Now, Archer doesn't know that we're here, okay? So we're going to go in and say g'day, meet the little dude. Here's his mum and dad. Let's just say a quick bye to mum and dad. This Hi, is everyone. Diane. It's Archer's mum. That's Mick, Archer's dad, yeah? <laughs> he actually he, like, takes after dad, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's dad. a lot of dad in him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to go in and say g'day. They don't know we're here. Here we go. All right, Jock, shall we yeah. sneak in and say g'day? Yeah. Walking through the door, right? Should have wore the Ninja Captain Australia outfit. <laughs> Sneak on in. Say 
Right. Oh, right. <laughs> Mason, uh, sorry, Harley. 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 Mason is 11 years old. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Pleased to meet you, Harley. Oh, this is the poster. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah, good on you, buddy. Oh, yeah, cool, cool. Now, check it. out, where's your Papa Jock there, mate? We've got a bag of toys and stuff, yeah, guys. Yeah, we, we didn't know who wanted what, so we just bought some Mason. stuff and we can pull it all apart and oh, play with the cleaners. Thanks, girl. Yeah. Nice to meet you, eh? Yeah. How was that? Wow, watching. Look at this stuff on this way. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any of this place. Look at that big curly head of hair on your brother. That's yeah. Yeah, yeah, looking good, aren't you? How are you doing? Not that good. Yeah, you're on holidays now? Yeah, yeah, good, mate. Yeah. Playing yeah. games, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Jump in there, guys. Yeah, yeah check all that stuff out. Put a bit of chocolate in there, too, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. This is my little mate, Archer, who was confined to Westmead Hospital for the entire duration of the war. And look at that. That is. Just gorgeous, you know. So the people who supported the walk and donated to paediatric cancer research, this is why. Okay, this is why. So do what you can. Good on you. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, that blows the bubbles out when you run them over. Does it need ba uh, the batteries might be gone, my friend? You know, Jock, I like to think that I'm a smart person too. That's it. You know, I keep missing obvious little bloody suggestions like batteries for toys that require batteries. What do you got, Arch? Oh, this is so cool. That's the pocket part. Yeah, we saw it. Thank you. 